Let me go back to Google. Um, we talked a little bit about self-driving cars. Uh, how large a change do you think that can cause to happen in society? Uh, you know, either one of you speculate on how large a change that might mean. It's more than just the software. Yeah, uh, I mean, I hope it can be a, a really dramatic change. I mean, you know, off the bat, of course, there's the many people who currently cannot get around if they're too old, too young, uh, disabled, and so forth. Uh, but that's you know still just a fraction of the population. I think the bigger changes can come to the community, the lifestyle, the land use. I mean, so much of our land uh, in most cities, about uh, 30 to 50 percent is parking, which is a tremendous waste. Uh, and uh, and also the roads themselves, which are both congested and take a lot of space and are just unpleasant. Uh, so with self-driving cars, you don't really need uh, much in the way of parking because you only need you don't need you know one car per person. They just come and get you when you need them. Uh, and uh, you can also make much more efficient road use if you. And this is not something we've uh, developed yet, but it's certainly been simulated by many. Uh, you know, they can form trains. They can go at high speed, perhaps uh, much higher than our highway speeds here. Um, fundamentally, they can just make much more efficient use of the space uh, and people, therefore, people's time. So I think that can be really transformative. Yeah. Um, real quickly, and, and I love the car because it's such a radical chance, transformation in economics. The way I look at it, a car is $300 a month to lease, a driver is $300 a day. A driverless car is 97% cost reduction in the cost of a driven car, making it cheaper than a car you own, probably. So it completely changes economics. But the traditional auto companies aren't going to want a large reduction in the number of cars. Um, well, it depends if they have a five-year view or a 20-year view. <laughs> well, it also depends if they're the ones producing them. I mean, yes, uh, any individual company might be happy as long as they're the ones making those cars. So do you think Google gets into the business of making cars, potentially? Not that I'm asking you to announce what you're doing, but speculate 10 years from now. Um, well, I'm very excited about the technology that we're building, but it's still in its uh, early stages. Um, I think eventually in the future, um, there might be you know, multiple partners uh, or uh, you know, companies that we work with. That, you know, some of them can be manufacturers and some uh, might be service providers. Uh, this is all pretty speculative right now. I'm working hard to just get the basics of the technology working. Um, but the ideal, uh, the ideal self-driven car is not one that's... Uh, um, you know, we've experimented well, where we convert the Lexuses and the Priuses, uh, but it's also really nice to you know not have a steering wheel, not have pedals. You know, maybe the seats should face each other, things like that. So it's not. Um, I'm not sure that the traditional car designs are ideal for self-driving. Um, let me go back 